Well, I was out here yesterday trimming up the backyard and I noticed that we have hundreds of beautiful lemons. What to do with all these lemons? Well, I've got a great idea. As I mentioned a moment ago, we're overwhelmed with lemons. I've got I don't know, 30 or 40 lemons here. There's a hundred more of them out on the tree. We also have a kumquat tree and I picked a few of those. This is really just a few. I've had, there's probably a thousand kumquats out on that tree. I decided what I want to do with some of these lemons is make limoncello. Uh, doing some research, I found out that pretty much any citrus like tangerines, plumellos, oranges, even kumquats, I guess, although I haven't seen a video on that, you can make a type of cello. So you're going to get a twofer. I'm going to make a lemon cello and I'm going to make a kumquat cello. So uh, the lemon cello is uh, basically it's an Italian thing. Uh, my daughter went to Italy last year and she talked a lot about when she was down on the Amalfi Coast that all the restaurants that she went to they each had their own house-made limoncello. So we talked about making it, and the last couple of years we've had a bumper crop of lemons. So this is gonna be my first time. I've been doing some research on it. So uh, I think I got down what I wanna do, and I'm gonna share that with you. And uh, you'll get to follow it right around to the end, and I'll give you an honest opinion of how this turned out, and you can decide whether or not you wanna try it. So the first thing we have to do is peel these lemons. So when we peel them, we're gonna just peel them very shallow so that you just get the rind. You're not gonna get the pith. So if you get into the white part, like you see there's a little bit of white on that and you really wanna just go very shallow and just, it should be the same color on each side. So you've got a, a yellow lemon here. It should be yellow on the outside and pretty yellow on the inside. So I'm going to take a few minutes here and I'm going to peel about 10 of these lemons or so. So the next step here is that we're going to uh, take our lemons that we've peeled and we've cleaned the pith off and we're going to add it to a container that you have uh, the ability to seal. So these things here seem to work pretty good. Uh, I go ahead and put my peels in there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover these peels with alcohol. Now, some people use vodka. Vodka is 40% alcohol, 80 proof. I've watched a lot of videos of uh, the people that do it over in Italy. They like to use a, uh, an alcohol that's probably 180 proof or even higher, like 90% or 90%, 95% alcohol. Well, I couldn't find that. The highest alcohol content I could find was Everclear. So Everclear is 60% alcohol. That's 120 proof. This, uh, I don't think people really drink this, but if you were to look at the label on the back here, it says it has a, a neutral profile and a unique, unique ability to extract flavor. So this is made specifically for uh, this type of thing. If you use a, a, like a vodka, I think when you do this part, you have to let it set on your lemon peels a lot longer. So using the Everclear or something with a higher uh, alcohol content, it acts as a solvent. So what's a solvent do? If you, if you have alcohol and you want to clean something with it, it really breaks down oils. You use alcohol like on, uh, on your computer screens and things like that. So it's, it's a, it's that type of an agent. So what I'm going to do here, I've got my 10 lemon peels and I've got 
750 milliliters, which is about 26 or so ounces of the Everclear. I'm just going to pour that right in there. And what I want is to have my Everclear basically covering my lemon peels. So I shake that around a little. It looks like we have a pretty good covering there. It looks like all the peels are covered. So what we do at this point, we seal this thing up, stick it in a place where it's not going to get hit by the sun. I think I've got some countertops around here where I can just put this and every day or two, I'm just going to come by and, and give it a little shake. This could take, I've seen people talk about it taking as little as four days is about the shortest that I've seen. And I've seen people leave it up to 45 days. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep an eye on it. Uh, from doing the research, I found that this is going to cause the skins to get almost um, crispy, almost like a potato chip, and it's going to pull all the color out of them. So the skins are going to turn fairly white or pale looking, and they're going to get a little bit crispy. That's what I'm going to go by. I'm not going to say I'm going to wait a week or two weeks. I'm just going to watch the skins. And at the point where I, I think that uh, all the oils have come out of those skins that are possibly going to come out, that's, uh, that's what I'm going to stop. So that's when we'll come back. I'm also uh, going to go through and peel these kumquats now. I'm only going to do half as much. So this is going to make quite a bit of limoncello. I'm going to do maybe half of that much with the kumquats just so I can see what comes out. I've had limoncello. I've never had kumquat cello. So I'm just going to do a test run on that. So we'll see you back in a moment uh, when some time has gone by and we'll pick up from there. Today I'm going to finish up the limoncello. I started out with 750 milliliters of the Everclear on my lemon peels. I actually add a little bit. So we've got about a liter of Everclear here on the lemon peels. They've been sitting probably about a month. So I've been, I've been slack and I should have done this a while back, but I don't think it could hurt anything. It just continues to leach out the oils out of, out of those peels. So what I'm going to do first is just transfer this. I've just got some regular, just cheesecloth. You could use a colander, whatever, whatever you got. Um, I just happen to have some cheesecloth. So you just stick that in there like that. I just want to keep, you know, some of the sediments out of it, keep it nice and clear. And you can see that, uh, or hopefully you can see the lemon peels here have really turned almost translucent. So they were bright and yellow when we started. Hope you can see that they're pretty much white. You could almost see right through them. So we've really taken, I think every bit of the oils out of these uh, lemon peels that we could possibly get out of them. So let's see what we got here. So that's uh, quite a color. Hopefully you can see it maybe against the white. I mean, it's really taken everything out of those peels. So as I said, I have about a liter of liquid here. I made some uh, simple syrup earlier and basically I made this like a two to one. So I did two cups of sugar or I'm sorry, two cups of water to one cup of sugar. Uh, if you want something sweeter, a lot of people will do a one to one. Um, I decided that if I want it sweeter, then we could always add a little simple syrup, like when you get ready to drink it, but two to one. Um, if I was to add a liter of this simple syrup to this mixture, then I would end up with something that was about 30% alcohol. Cause if you remember, this was 60% alcohol to start out with the Everclear. So if I went one-to-one -one on that, I'd end up with 30% alcohol. I want it a little bit stronger than that. So I'm doing 750 milliliters of the, uh, Everclear, of the simple sh syrup that should give me 
about a, I'm thinking about a 40% alcohol, 80 proof. So here we go. We'll just pour this right in. And this is definitely something that you want to drink ice cold. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and uh, throw it in the freezer and then we'll give it a taste. So there's the, basically the finished product. So we'll give it a taste here and see how it came out. And I'll let you know what I think. Earlier, uh, you probably recall that I did the, uh, the um, kumquats as well. I've already done that one. It's in the freezer right now. So I'll kind of give you a taste test of both of them at the same time. All right, so let's give these things a try. Here we have the uh, limoncello which uh, turned out kind of dark, and I think that's because of the types of lemons that I was using. And this here is the kumquat cello. Uh, go ahead and take a look at them here. Just take a little tiny taste. You can see they're kind of syrupy when they come out of the bottle. Of course, that's because they've been in the freezer, the alcohol, and the fluids and the alcohol sort of thicken up. Plus it's got some sugar, quite a bit of sugar in it. So we'll try the uh, limoncello first. It has a nice bright lemony smell. Mm, really good. So I've had limoncello that's sweeter. Like I said before, if you like something sweet, you could add a little bit of simple syrup to that. But uh, overall, very good. I failed to mention before also that your lemons, when you start out, if you, there's something you picked yourself, then you're good to go. Maybe just wash them. But if you buy them from the store, a lot of times they'll have like a wax coating on them. So be sure to clean those really good. You don't want that in your limoncello. So here's the kumquats. I actually think I like that better. That was really good. So I never know what to do with the kumquats because we get so many of them and I'm the only one that eats them. But this'll this'll do. Um, when I when I peeled all the lemons. Uh, my wife made me a couple really nice uh, lemon ring pies, which we'll show you a picture of right here. But uh, very delicious stuff. Um, if you're wondering what to do with all your lemons, give this a try. It's worth, worth your time and super easy to do. Enjoy. Be sure to like my video if you like it. And uh, subscribe and tell your friends. Thanks.